Welcome back to Same Old Gossip Reheated. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Hit that like button, share, subscribe, comment, comment, comment. Talk to me in these comments. Let me know something. Now, remember, my whole thing that I've been writing on is, remember your introduction to the world. And when I say the world, I'm saying the internet because, you know, we all get a lot of our news, a lot of our whatever from our phones and from the internet and from social media. So always remember your introduction. And what I mean by that is, However you come to us, it's how you're going to always have to bring it. The minute you not doing that, we don't care about you no more. It's a wrap for you. You know what I mean? So, let's get into it. Do loose cannon on no jumper. So, I ain't watch no jumper. I, I I was never a fan of no jumper, right? But loose can uh they saying in the comments that Adam 22 and WAC 100 got a show now that they put together. You know, everybody left, AD, Fig Munity, Community, all that, right? These two put a show together, and they have this guy on here, Loose Cannon. Now, Loose Cannon got some things to say, right? And when you think about somebody, you know, spilling tea, a man, you, I hate to say it, but I got to, I got to, I got to ride with my sisters. It's the sassy man apocalypse. (laughs) I wasn't even on it like that. But seeing how he moving, this is kind of too much. So you wonder why he would do something like this. Now I'm about to play this clip. And y'all tell me what y'all think. You proposed to Shadi. No, no, me, 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 me. me. To to her. When he proposed to me... Shaq DM'd me and said, and I wish you the him. best of luck. what the fuck luck. you got to do with Shaq? Because he was my friend. Prior to, prior to him and Shani. Prior to us. So, so Shaq when I know who you us, are. Yeah. Because, because he, he fucked his wife or ex-wife. No, but she was spending money on me, right? <sighs> so she yeah, got me yeah, a Richard yeah, Millie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a Richard Millie? You can't. Yeah. Come on. No, he's on. not. Dead on me. He's come not. On. What happened to him? I got, oh. It's not today. No, oh, he gets shot too many times. He don't shot. wear jewelry no oh. more. Yeah, so it's like, at the end of the day, I was fucking. I mean, she was like a sugar mama to me on crib. So at the so end you of can't, the day, you can't, you can't. Sh- men do the okay, same thing on. women do. I tell you right One now. Second. Okay? One second. One second. Let me ask you a thing. question. Was you going to the house? I was going everywhere. Well, she, what, she was, what, what city was listen, the house in? Listen, listen. We, <laughs> she gonna be mad to the motherfucker when she see this. But at the end of the day, is Shani O'Neal? She know what's up. I fucked her like two weeks before she got married to the pastor. Oh she my was like, god! She you was, gotta get her divorced. Stop wait. it. No, she told me she was like, I need some good dick before I go down the aisle. I said, Crib, I got you. What you got for me? Oh she was god. like, Wait, wait, I got, I got no, you. Listen, Hold she on. was like, I got ten thousand for you. I said, That's not enough. When I pulled up, she gave me 50. So. She was trying to cop. She gave dick. you 50 high five, racks. High five, yeah. baby. High five. You got that it like that? Good one. High course. five. Yo. Now in that clip, he said a lot. Now I'm going to play a whole nother clip after this where he going to get into some more spilling of the teas. You know what I mean? Like you. Woo-hoo. This boy was blazing. So when it comes to like. Shawnee O'Neal, come on, baby girl, let me talk to you. You old enough to be my mama. You got a whole bunch of big ass tall kids. Come on, what are we doing? I believe him. I, somebody jumped in the comments and said, "I don't believe him." I went to his page. He ain't got on no jury on his page. Like, damn, y'all really live in a society like if I don't see it, you don't have it. If you ain't put it up on IG, it don't matter because you don't really own it. How dare you say you live in a house? We've never seen your house. <laughs> so it's just like, damn, just because he ain't got the watch on, y'all don't think he, you know what I'm saying, telling the truth? But listen, I think he telling the truth, but I also think he wrong. You know what I'm saying? What you doing? You said this lady paid you 50 racks for the day? Shawnee, what are we doing, baby? In what world are we paying niggas to hit? Like, Shawnee, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in the lady's pants. So, how do, you know what I mean? But, like, why would you have to pay somebody? Like, 
Don't get me wrong. Okay, being a sugar mama, playing a sugar mama role, do your thing. But you not no bad looking woman. Why you got to be a sugar mama? Because you thought you were going to keep it on the low. You know what they say. Keep it on the hush. Don't say nothing. Ain't no need in talking while we doing our thing. You know what I mean? Those was just the rules that we picked up in the streets. <laughs> you supposed to keep shit quiet if you supposed to. He talking about he hit her two weeks before she got married. And then he like, I need some, I need some good dick before I get to go down this L. That's hilarious, first of all. Then on top of that, I believe she said that too. And it just works because her husband is a pastor. Now they saying that they got married in the Caribbean in May of 22, uh, May of 2022, excuse me. Now, <laughs> she said, oh, I'm going to throw you 10. He said, that ain't enough. <laughs> she threw 40 more on top. Now that's kind of stretching it. Now with numbers, I know people stretch it. You know what I'm saying? So, he probably did get 15 up out of her. I ain't going to say she put the whole 50 on him. You know what I mean? But then let's get into the girl. You know what I mean? Like, y'all really trying to get it popping. We understand. Things go viral. You know what I mean? It, 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 everybody trying to get they, you know, they shoe in. <laughs> everybody trying to, you know, stand out, uh, get seen, go viral, come to my page. Because I went to his page and he's sitting on a million followers now. Loose cannon, I'm gonna just be real with you. Just sitting on one M like that, and ain't nobody heard you in the heard about you in the black community like that. And you had to reach out to um what's his name? Whack and da 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 da. Uh, that that ain't sounding too real now. Them 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 one million followers is looking fake on IG. You ain't hit nobody's algorithm. I'm not saying that it's not possible. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? The black community is a small community to where somebody would have heard you. S heard something about you. Something. You know what I mean? But look, you popped up on the blogs today. Now, like I said, you you doing too much. You running your mouth. Come on. What are you doing? And that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I know Shawnee's children are older. So it's like, damn, would it really affect them? But then think about her boys, right? Her boys play basketball. <laughs> think about, they be talking mad shit on the court. <laughs> Your mom paid 50000 for some dick. Oh, shooting, <laughs> shooting the ball. Do you know how crazy that looks? You know what I mean? That would, <laughs> that would piss me the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure it would piss them off. You know what I'm saying? Then you think about her girls. The girls that can come at her girls for something like that and, and just be talking out the side of their neck for what this dude is saying. You would think that Shawnee know better. You would think that she could move better in the world. Like, she older. She been out here. And we ain't heard nothing about her, you know what I mean, since she really spit up with Shaq. Like, nothing egregious, nothing that was like hot tea. Now this nigga just spilled all the beans. You know what I'm saying? You can't even, you know what I mean? Do your, do your cheating in peace, Shiny. Now, not on, now, not now. I did go to the kids first. Now think about your husband. At the, you, you was all in People's Magazine with it, like smiling in the nigga's face. You know what I'm saying? Said y'all had 200 guests at the wedding. Like, don't get me wrong. You don't have to. Explain nothing to those 200 people. But what about your husband, Shani? Like, he got to go do his research. He got to go two weeks. Oh, where, where were you at two weeks? What was the text messages looking like? Does he still have the text message threads? Did he take a few pictures? You know what I mean? Because you can go back and get the details on the pictures. You uh, That day you said you was this. He, he got to do all the recollecting in his mind to make sure he clear-minded you know what i mean some dirty games oh so now let's get into this second clip which i think is gonna be short and sweet i wanted to make it a whole nother video but hey it's all about loose cannon right now let's make him go viral as he want to be right so 
Let's play this clip, man. This one is just more spicier. And then it's like we were doing a TV show like a while back, right? And I'm on a um, phone. He FaceTimed me. So he FaceTimed me and stuff like that. He was like, Nipsey just got killed. I'm like, sick. So I didn't hear that. So I hang up with him. I called Nipsey and I'm like, Nipsey. What's up? He was like, oh, what's up with it? Nipsey like, answered. Nipsey yeah. answered. He answered the phone. And I was like, I love you, cuz, or whatever like that. Um, Did you, you tell him the call you just got? Or you didn't even mention it? I didn't Nipsey? mention it. You and it, that's that's what fucked me up, because my cousin is um, Nipsey baby mama. You get what I'm saying? So it was like, I could have probably stopped it, or it had it. Um, Stop what? Fuck you mean? That fuck you talking about? No, because listen. So after I talked to Nipsey, and I was like, yeah, I love you, cuz, or whatever like that. I'll see you later, or whatever. So I hung up the phone. I thought, Big, you gave wrong information. 30 minutes later, the homies blowing me up like they just killed Nipsey. And so I'm like. Wait, 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 wait. You get a call from Big U telling you Nipsey just got killed. Yeah. You panic, called Nip. Nip yeah. answered the phone. Yeah. And uh, you we like. We just okay. talking on regular. So regular. it's like at the end of the day, I didn't even think about it because. You don't even up. warn him that you got that call from dude. No, because. Their relationship was so fucked up. It'd be like they be hot one minute, and then they be cold the next minute, and then they be lukewarm. Like you and just thirty never minutes knew. after you get out the phone with Nip, he get killed. Yeah, I got it. So you on think the, he the hit TV you a, a little too early? Yep, he hit me a little bit too early because uh, now the person he was talking about, in case you didn't pick it up, was Big U. Big U. And Nipsey Hussle had a relationship, right? Like he said, it was up and down, back and forth. One day they good, one day they not. You know what I mean? Both on the whole Crip 60s rolling, all that. All that stuff that they be on, right? And for him to say that he basically, that Big U damn near either put a hit out on Nipsey or know about the hit on Nipsey, that's that's kind of woo, and then to say like, oh, he called me, but then that don't make sense once you think about it. Like, if a nigga got a hit on the nigga, why would a nigga just be freely calling niggas before he really get the word on what's really popping and what's really happening? You know what I mean? Big U, it, he done been to jail, he done did time, he done been in the streets. He, come on, that 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 that's sounding a little shaky. And then you all like, I got the footage, I got the footage, like. I don't know, man. Sounding a little chatty patty. But the part that I want to um, really focus on is that, like, later on in the clip, I don't know if I – I think I chopped it off and where he said, like, a week before um, Eric Holder shot Nipsey Hussle, they had got into a real fight. He said Nipsey Hussle is, like, six feet something. Eric Holder is, like, five, five something. And now that I know that information, right, because everybody knew it was just more to the situation. But now that you know that they got into a fight and he was saying that Eric Holder wasn't that type of dude to be fighting, he basically was saying he the type of nigga that will shoot you. <laughs> Ain't no if answer but about it. I'm not about to fight you. I'm just coming off with the pistol. Yeah, well, Nipsey was supposed to get popped on. It's sad to say, but. You can't just think you about to go <laughs> beating motherfuckers up nowadays and then you just supposed to go on and especially a man. You know what I'm saying? Like you putting your hands on man knowing y'all was in front of people and you just supposed to say, hey, I have to, I'm going to go and, you know, take care of my family and still be in the hood and everything is going to be all right. You're not that invincible. Nobody is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get their ass whooped and come back shooting. So. If that's what really happened, like they say, man, you can't do something wrong to somebody and then tell them how to react. And it's sad to say, and nah, don't nobody wanted to go there, but if we fought you booked my ass, what a what? Hey, man, I came back bussing. I got you, and that's just the rules of engagement, especially when it comes to the streets. It's fucked up, man. That go for anybody. That's anybody, loved ones or not. You know the rules that you playing by. 
And if those rules apply to everybody, they apply to you too. You're not exempt. Don't nobody give a fuck because you some millionaire nigga and you got some chains and you got nice cars and you done bought the building and all that. That sounds great. That sounds good. Perfect. whoop de doo for you. But hey, all I got is my pride in this hood shit that I'm banking and hey, gotta get smoked out. But the dude, loose skin and like you, I don't know, man. Like you asking to get on no jumper and yada, yada, da, 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 da. I don't know. It's look like I said, you came to us with the smoking tea. You better keep that tea up because we don't want to hit. We, babe, loose, loose cannon. We don't care about the music. We don't even give a fuck about the music now. <laughs> we want the tea. We don't care about none of them syllables you about to put together. We don't care about none of them beats. We don't care about none of them features. Give us the tea, cause you and then that's scary, cause you and your bitches just cheerleading for each other. Well, it, and then you could tell the way he talking. He kind of like he want to tell her to like shut up, <laughs> let me tell the story. But she just keep jumping the gun and no, this is what really happened. No, this is what happened. Uh huh. No, that really did happen. Like yo, <laughs> chill, relax, baby. I'm gonna do my thing. They see you. You sitting here right with me. I got you up here. I'm trying to hold you up like a trophy knowing you ain't shit either. But nah, let me get out of here. Thank you. You made it this far, you know what I mean? Give us, give us something in them comments, you know what I'm saying? Drop some type of emoji. Drop whatever emoji you want in the comments if you made it this far. You know what I mean? Like, share, subscribe. Hit that PayPal, that Cash App. Support the show, man. Support the show.